how to do a basic outline for a golden apple coat on GIMP. So first you go to file and then open and you go through all your little files or whatever and you get a picture that you want to do. So I want to do Frisians because I love them. Anyways, so now you open up a new layer and then name it outline, click transparency and then click OK. And that's above it. Then you use the paintbrush tool, change the color to the brightest red you have and then set the scale to 0 0.06 with the brush be circle 11. All right, and then now you zoom in, and then I usually like to go to either 400 or 800, depending on you know the size of your picture. You know, you usually want to see just like about this much of the picture at a time, and then you just freehand it around the picture. You know, like this. I'll do the head first, and then since it usually takes a while, then yeah, I'll just do it and then skip ahead but usually you wanna just get the basic outline I mean it doesn't matter exactly I mean I usually leave off the tack or whatever you know so if it has a saddle on or something I'll usually just kinda guess where the real body would be because I mean seriously like horses with saddles don't look as cool anyways then you just do a basic outline of the eye doesn't have to be perfect and then basic size and shape of the nose and stuff and then this ear looks really weird, so I'll just have to guess. I'm guessing it looks like that and like that. And then for the hair, you really can't do much about it. You just have to like whew, freehand. Just really guess where it goes. And then you can always change stuff, you know, like easy stuff. Like in the end, I could make this horse be a paint, not a Frisian. I could, or I could also make it be a gray and illusion with heck of long hair. It really does not matter at all. You can just change as much as you want with it. Just, I mean, and if you really get good at this, you don't even need this basic outline. But basically, when you're doing this, just try to get the dark parts that you know it's gonna show up in like the sketch or whatever. You know, like in this thing, I mean, this little dot right here isn't gonna show up, so don't do that. But like in it, in the end, this thing is gonna show up, and then this little arc right here is gonna show up. And the leg is gonna show up, and so just get stuff like that. You when know, you this see is the outline, what it looks like, and everything. Then create new out, new layer. Make sure it's white, and then name it whiteness. Doesn't really matter because you're just using it temporarily. Now make your picture disappear. So you wanna make it go down one, so then you can see it. Hallelujah! Then this is also a good way to see any errors you did. Like obviously, I forgot to do something right here, so I'll just fix that really quick. See. It looks stupid, but you know, I could do better next time. Anyways, I also forgot to put a little bit of mane right here. So I'll just do that now. Oh, I mean, hallelujah. Oops. Yay. He now has a ground length mane. How beautiful is this? It's the most gorgeous thing in the world. Hallelujah. See, now he's all beautiful. Anyways, um, also you can see that I didn't do the hooves. That was because, one, you couldn't see the hooves. And two, I didn't feel like, you know, inventing the hooves. So if I was going to really make this, um, you know, color it out and everything, then I'd just, you know, put grass over them or do something or I'd just, you know, make them later. So, uh, yeah, that's, um, also if you want to make a, it be a paint, you'd make a new, uh, a new layer named color outline and then just draw them in wherever the heck you want. So yeah, that's it.